Okay, now I'm going to talk about the most revolutionary light of the year, the Magic Shine 808. And here it is. Why is it revolutionary? It's because of the price. So this review is actually, I'm going to call it the for the price review. Because um, the price is really just crazy. It's $85. So people order it. It's a Chinese-made light. Uh, there's a, a U.S. distributor um, called uh, Geoman. Uh, you um, you get this light in the mail, and you're not expecting much for 85 bucks. But what's really cool is it comes in a nice box. It's magnetized, so you actually reuse it and open it easily. And your all your stuff's here. It's all nicely compartmentalized, and you go, oh, pretty nice. So first I have to say that this light is an identical copy of one of our best lights um, from last, uh, from early in the season, the Lupine Tesla. Everything's pretty much the same. The head, the battery, how it functions. It's about 90% the same. So, you know, we're not excited about that. Um, that it's so close of, of a product, but um, but what that means is it's a good it's a good design. You know, it uses the the same emitter, the Sol P7 emitter. Um, you know, the same head unit design, the same mounting system. So you know it's going to work. Um, it's just a matter of um, construction. In fact, one of the things that we knocked on the Tesla was on this on this uh, handlebar mount. It was a little tight to get on on uh, oversized handlebars. What what Magic Shine did was uh, they give you two rubber bands, one for small um, handlebars and one for big. So there you go. So let's um, let's cut to the chase and just just turn it on because this is where this is really the ultimate. Determination of the review. So when you turn, when you when you plug it in, it flashes for about uh, one second at full blast. So be careful of your eyes. And then this light stays on green permanently while you're plugged in. And you do one click to turn it on. It lasts about three hours on uh, on this small battery. And they rate it at. 900 lumens which is the rating of the of the bulb unfortunately this is one of the things we don't like about it this is not really 900 lumens a lot of people if you're just buying because the box had 900 lumens and expecting it to be 900 lumens it's not uh, it's more like 600 to 700 lumens and the reason that is this doesn't come from the the greatest batch the highest quality batch of emitters so some of them are a little high some of them are a little low also it depends on the um the battery, the electronics driving it, whether you're going to get 900 lumens or not. So it's, to us, it's between 600 and 700, and we have a uh, we actually measure it independently, and we measure it at about 37 lux. Um, and you should check our review of the light to to see how it compares to other lights. But the most important issue is um, how good the the beam beam pattern is and how bright it is. And we can tell you that it's um, for the money, it's real good. So before I show you the beam pattern on our little test bed here, let me go through the the, uh, the strengths and weaknesses of it. So obviously a strength is the uh, the nice packaging, the price, the um, the two the two mount mounting bands, uh, the beam pattern quality, the brightness, some of the knocks we have and, and I, I have a few complaints about it but they're all pretty minor you know because at the end of the day it's about how much you paid for it and what kind of light are you, are you getting but I want to tell you about some of the um, um, the, the weaknesses uh, we found about it so the first one is uh, when you plug it in it goes on full blast and sooner or later you're gonna shine the light in your eye because you're not expecting it or shine it on your friend's eye it's it's um, just stay away from it because something this bright it can really harm your eyesight. Next thing is when you when you plug it in, it's on permanently. Now that's not such a good idea because 
Yeah, now you're draining your battery. If you, if you plug it in the night before or a week before, you just don't want that. We don't know how much it's draining, but you know, just common sense is you don't want it draining the battery if you're not using it. So the way Lupine does it and some other people do it is when you plug it in, it goes on for 30 seconds and then it shuts off automatically. It goes on so you can see where the switch is in case you forget. But you know, you only, you only really need it for 30 seconds or you, you don't really need it at all because you know where the switch is. So the other thing that is a minor complaint is it has five mode settings. You don't really need five. It has three uh, high, medium, low settings and then two flash modes. The, the three, we, we prefer two settings, high and low. These are LEDs, they last forever. Um, three is okay, but the two flash settings is overkill. One flash setting is strobe mode, so it's completely useless, I think. It just kinda, kinda gives you a headache. Uh, and the second one is a true flash mode, which is useful if you're commuting or if you're stranded on a mountain uh, looking for helicopter rescue. And, um, but the flash modes, 99% of the time, if you're a mountain biker, you're not going to use it. It's just annoying, you know, unless, you know, unless you're, you know, you need rescue. So the right way to do flash mode is you put it on another setting on the light where you don't have to use it every time. You don't have to see it every time you use the light. So that's a minor complaint. The, the, um, a lot of the other lights do that. The other complaint we have is when you change setting, you have to go through flash mode, obviously annoying, but you also have to go through off mode. And then you can get back on high. Not a big deal, but when you're actually riding, it's important because that means that you have to stop riding to go back to high, which eventually, you know, when, when, the, when, the, when the trail becomes downhill or technical again, you want to go back on high mode, right? Well, what's going to happen is your light's going to be going to shut off completely right when you need it most. So you have to, you know, for safety's sake, you just have to stop. So they didn't have to do that. You know, none of the other lights do that. When you, if you want to turn it off, just press it for a long time and it should go off. And that's what it does anyway. So like I said, minor, um, cable is not that thick. Um, connector, connector is actually okay. It looks like it's protected. Oh, there, there goes that big flash again. And probably more important um, weakness is quality issues. You know, at 85 bucks, you know, you don't expect, you know, Swiss made quality, but, um, but there are inconsistencies with lights. Some lights are, are brighter than others. Um, mine is less bright than my friends by about uh, three lux. It has a more bluish green tint compared to his. Um, some people have had failures in the solder inside, um, and it's a, only a six-month warranty. So compared to mo most people, are a little bit longer than that. But like I said, this review is about the is called the for the price award, because for the price, all issues are forgiven. You know, at 85 bucks, it's just too too inexpensive to complain about anything. And if it breaks in seven months, go buy another one. <laughs> So here we go. We're gonna shine the light at full blast onto my test bed. And as you can see, it's a, it's a big time light. You know, it's not the usual under $100 light that you're used to. And this light is gonna have, a, I think, a lot of repercussions in the industry. You know, because it's so cheap and it's just hard to pay salaries and, and maintain a company at this price. But the one good thing about a light uh, this bright and this inexpensive, it's, it's going to bring a lot of people who would not have other buy, otherwise bought a light uh, into this category of light. And they're going to enjoy mountain biking. Maybe we have more trail access because there's more people interested and can afford uh, night riding. And even more important, you know, commuters will be a lot safer on the road with a light of this caliber. You know, no car is going to miss you uh, with a light this bright.